Hey, Psych2Goers, are you an old soul? An old soul is mature, wise, and like the name suggests, people often think there's an old soul trapped inside their body. Well, not literally, but you know what I mean. If you're an old soul, people may have had a hard time understanding you and may think you're a bit weird in turn, but maybe you're just wise beyond your years. Well, if you relate to these six signs, then you may just be an old soul trapped in a young body. Well, kind of. Number one, you feel like you're an outsider. Do you often feel like you're an outsider? Old souls may have a hard time in their youth making friends with their peers because of their maturity. You may find you get along with older people instead and have deeper conversations with them. In a Mind Body Green article, intuitive counselor Randy Merzon explains that if you're an old soul and are still chronologically young, it might take a while to find your tribe. Merzon continued saying that they might feel like an outlier and they may initially feel that they're alone in this. So what is a tribe? A tribe is a group of friends that you feel truly at home with. You get each other and often have similar hobbies, passions, and interests. Most importantly, your conversations and connections are deeper and more stimulating than your other friends. They're your tribe. Number two, you like to spend time alone. Do you prefer to spend more time alone than with others? This can also be a sign that you're an old soul. Some old souls are very sensitive and empathetic towards others. So sometimes interacting with a large group of people for a while can be emotionally draining. Old souls can often spend a lot of time observing others and reflecting before immediately responding. So they don't mind spending a bit more time in their head. Spending some time alone to recharge, reflect, contemplate, and daydream can be normal for an old soul. Number three, you don't care for material things. Are you a shopaholic? Do you have to have the latest phone as soon as it comes out? Many people love shopping trips and enjoy having their favorite possessions close by, but most old souls aren't particularly interested in material things. They care more about other things, or well, they don't care for things at all. They prefer learning new things, expanding their knowledge, and improving their relationships. Number four, you give great advice. Have you ever been told that you give great advice? Do people say you're wise beyond your years? This is another sign that you're an old soul. There's the one in your friend group with the creative solutions, suggestions, and you often come up with great ways to help others. Part of this is also due to how observant and great of a listener you are. Number five, your intentions are strong. Old souls make most of their choices with their intentions at the forefront of their mind. When they sit down to create a project, they're keeping the end goal in mind. When they respond to others, they think before they react. This is also because they're very observant. They also don't like to waste too much time. Most of their choices have strong intentions behind them. In this way, they can often be productive. That is, if that's their intention. And number six, you value deep connections. Would you rather have a few close friends or many acquaintances? Old souls value deep connections. So instead of many acquaintances, they'll likely have a few close friends instead. They can still be a people person and love meeting new people, but they value close relationships over simply knowing more people. Since younger old souls may have a harder time making friends with those around their own age, they may have a few friends that they form a deep connection with over time anyway. Old souls can also be a bit philosophical, so they wanna form closer relationships so they can have these deep conversations instead of more casual ones with new friends or acquaintances. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good philosophical conversation with a best friend anyway? Hmm, what should your next deep conversation be about? Perhaps the subconscious mind? Good thing Psych2Go has a video on the mysteries of the subconscious mind, link in the description box. Feel free to invite your close friends over and discuss the mysteries of the mind. So, do you think you're an old soul? Feel free to let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a loved one or close friend. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.